Hello and welcome to this phone burner quick training. My name is Jeff Osnes. I'll be walking you through the training. If you want to reach out to me, send me an email, jeff at phoneburner.com. Today we're going to be talking about how to integrate your phone burner account with HubSpot. So let's go ahead and dive into it. To integrate your phone burner account with HubSpot, it's super easy. Now, once you're logged into your phone burner admin account, you simply click on the My Account button in the upper right hand corner and go to the My Account page. On the My Account page, you're going to go down to the bottom and click on Third Party Integrations. From the Third Party Integrations page, you're going to click on the Learn More button in the HubSpot integration section. So we click on Learn More. Now we're going to click on Connect HubSpot and you just need a grant access. That's going to create the initial connection between PhoneBurner and HubSpot. Your integration will be paused by default, allowing you time to configure your HubSpot integration. The first thing you're going to want to do is map the member on the PhoneBurner side to the HubSpot owner on HubSpot. So here you can see the two users that I've currently got set up in PhoneBurner. I've got Heather and Jeff. For Heather, I'm going to click on the HubSpot owner, Heather. And then the next thing is I need to choose what folder in PhoneBurner is going to receive the leads. Where am I going to start syncing these leads to in the PhoneBurner system? You could simply just use the contacts folder, or you can go and create your own custom folder if you want to. I'm just going to use the contacts folder in this particular case. And I'll do the same thing for Jeff. Set the HubSpot owner to Jeff. Set the folder to contacts. Now that we've designated what folder should receive the contacts. Now let's go to the map field section. The standard fields are already set and you can't change them. However, if you have any custom fields that you'd also like to map between HubSpot and PhoneBurner, you'll see your custom fields listed here in this menu. At this time, you can only map standard text fields. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and select a couple custom fields here to map in. I've got one here called Ready to Go. This is a custom field I created on HubSpot. And I'm going to map it to a custom field on PhoneBurner. We're going to add another mapping. And we'll add job title. Map that to title. Once I've added all the mappings that I need, I'm going to go ahead and save new field. At this point, I've got the fields mapped. I've got the contacts mapped to the correct folder in PhoneBurner. I'm now ready to activate the integration. So I'm going to click on the Activate Integration button right here. And now that we've got the integration turned on, let's jump over to our contacts, and we should see contacts now having been synced over to PhoneBurner. And here you go. You can see that the contacts have now synced over. Let's do a quick dial session. So I'm going to go ahead and select all and begin a dial session. After getting set up and connected, all we have to do is hit the Start Dialing button, and the system will start calling through the list of contacts that we had selected to call. So let's say we're calling Katrina. She doesn't answer, so we hit the No Answer button. We move on to the next call. If it's a busy signal, I hit the busy signal button, right? You're just going to hit the dispositions based off the outcome of the call. If somebody answers live, hit the live answer button. When you're done talking to them, end the call. And then you'll be able to disposition the call based off the outcome of the conversation. Any changes you make to the custom fields will also sync back to HubSpot. So let's say we find out that Jeff Sample is not the owner. He is the VP of Sales. So we update his title, and we mark him as interested, and we move on to the next call. And we'll go ahead and end the session now. We did a couple sample calls. That's enough. Summary of our call activity, how much time we saved. We can view the details of our dial session. Now that call activity, if we refresh our contacts here in PhoneBurner, that activity has been logged. And then once everything syncs back to HubSpot, we'll be able to see the data there. So let's give it some time. And then let's jump over to the contacts within HubSpot to review it. OK, it's now been a few minutes. Let's click on Contacts. And after refreshing the page, you can actually see that the activity has been logged within HubSpot. And so let's go ahead and open up one of these contacts that we called. Jeff Sample is the contact that we actually called and changed the title on. So let's open up him. You can see the call activity right here in the activity section called and mark them as interested. And if you look at the job title, there it is. It's been updated. So as you can see, it is super easy to connect your PhoneBurner account to HubSpot and start syncing the data from HubSpot over to PhoneBurner. Now all you need to do is get to work. Happy dialing.